everyone, here with us today is the smart home startup Control4 CEO Martin Klein. So Control4 just opened its new tech center in Bangalore, India. Does it mean the company tried to expand for, further in the emerging markets? We at Control4 sit at the center of the connected home and the connected consumer. As you know, electronic devices with a battery or with a power cord are becoming network aware. And Control4 makes those devices work together for homeowners and families. The Indian market, the China market, are very large opportunities with burgeoning middle classes and burgeoning home ownership. And we felt it was the right time to establish a direct presence in both India and in China. The tech center opened in September in Shanghai. Does it carry the same function as the one in Bangalore? Yeah, they have similar, a similar charter. Uh, their charter is to provide local technical support to our certified dealer network in the region. In China, we have 77. Uh, we've added seven since we opened uh, in September. Uh, so we train our, our dealers, their technical specialists. We provide telephone support for them uh, once they start deploying uh, solutions for their customers in Beijing and Shanghai and Guangzhou and Hong Kong. And we also provide local marketing and online web presence. Speaking of the core business of Control4, uh, the home automation solutions. So tell us what exactly do you produce? We produce uh, products that connect other products as one unified system to make your entertainment system and your lighting system and maybe your window shades and your heating and air conditioning systems work together so that a customer or a family can watch TV or watch a movie with one button and the television will come on, the surround sound will turn on to the right, uh, right settings, the lights will dim, the shades will lower. That's just one example of how to automate uh, entertainment. How does China's growing urbanization and uh, middle class contribute to the growth of Control Force products? It's a very large market. The demand for um, modern homes is very high. The demand for home ownership and the pride in home ownership is, is accelerating in China. We see a lot of interest in home theaters, a lot of interest in so sophisticated lighting, uh, and also security, and making them work together in the connected home for the Chinese uh, modern family is, is a great opportunity. We do the same for security and safety. We do the same for intelligent lighting. So there are many, many applications. About moving, shifting this uh, manufacturing base away from China to other neighboring countries. What is your view on that? Well, we're very happy with our two contract manufacturers in China. And um, they provide us great service. And we have a good reliability and predictability. Um, so right now we don't have plans to make any moves to other countries. So China is, if we look at Asia, emerging markets and China, how much growth is coming out of Asia and China for your company? We're very bullish about the opportunity. Today, 25% uh, of our business comes from outside of North America. Uh, we see that part of our business growing faster than in North America. And uh, China and, and following China, India are two big contributors to our international business. Looking ahead after the new tech centers and the, the one in, in Shanghai, what next for you know, your uh, business strategy in China? Well, we look at China and India as two very, very large economies and, and very large geographic countries. Uh, China is an enormous opportunity. We're focused on uh, three big cities, Beijing, Shanghai, Hong Kong, maybe Guangzhou. And when we get great traction in those cities, then we'll be looking at the next cities. So as a multi-year commitment to grow our presence in China, and we think we'll grow for a good period of time.